in an environment where you get a report that X number of devices patches are not compliant. To understand what could be a reason troubleshooting, diagnosing if path scanning is working properly or not, that is what we are going to see in this particular video. If you are new to this particular channel, please subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM, that is Microsoft Endpoint Configuration Manager. Now, speaking on troubleshooting and diagnosing if path scanning is successful or failing, three things are very important. Number one, assignment of patches. Number two, scanning of devices. And number three, deploying of patches. Now, whenever the new patches are released by Microsoft, they need to be assigned because only once it is assigned, then it will be deployed. But during this process, the second step, scanning of devices is at the most important because at, that is a point where devices get scanned whether that particular patch is applicable or not applicable that all is determined when the devices are scanned now over here one log that is very important especially for scanning of devices is wua handler this log gives a lot of information about the scanning now in this particular log we may see different type of messages related to scanning if scan is successful or not i have just jolted few of the error messages which i have seen in my environment like this fail to run begin search on wa agent error 0x8007042 or 8024800 scan failed with error group policy error and like there are multiple errors that i have seen similarly 0x005 and and eventually all these errors somewhere it is referring to group policy is getting stuck or group policy is not able to resolve so somewhere if i'm seeing this type of errors it is linking with the scanning is not completing successfully now to fix the scanning issue one file which plays a very important role is registry.pol this is a particular file which really helps to get the registry information so the first question that comes up is what is registry.pol so over here this is a Microsoft document where it has given a brief insights about registry poll where it is mentioned the group policy object editor stores registry based configuration setting in two registry poll files it is located in windows system 32 group policy then there is a machine folder as well as user folder one file contains computer setting and the other file contains user setting basic basically the the group policy object editor saves the setting to this files on exit and imports the setting on startup. So at this time of startup, this particular file registry.pol has some settings which it calls and during that time it scans. Now if that particular setting is corrupted, there are chances that the scanning that is going to happen for Windows updates that may also not work. So the fix is really very simple, either we need to rename this particular file to register.pol or we need to delete it. Now let us understand what is actually included in registry.pol. So for that I am opening my test machine. So now I am on my test machine. I have downloaded this particular tool registry.pol reader. Uh, it's a software developed by SDM software. Being on a test machine I can take a risk of getting any third party tools to review what it is i will not be doing the same in my prod environment so this is a path which i was referring earlier c colon windows system 32 group policy machine either machine or sometimes registry.pol is present in c colon windows system 32 user folder so let's see what is present in registry.pol file so i am opening this I can see a few of the registry key values are there. So as per the definition, it was saying that this particular settings are imported at the time of start and this, this particular settings 
are taken over at the time of scanning so the other way which i normally check is i can go to that particular path c colon windows system 32 in that it's a group policy in that it's machine and over here I can open it through notepad the characters would not be clear but I will still get a understanding of what it is referring to it is referring to the same thing but in the product environment I can just open this I can see okay these are the few of the registry binaries that it is referring to to be scanned during the registry during the Windows update scan cycle so I get an idea of what is happening so now what I need to do is is I need to delete or rename this particular file and once I do a rename So once I do a rename, then I will go in command prompt. I'll be running gp update slash force, which will update the computer policy as well as the user policy. And also I can run the software update scan cycle from the action item basically if you want to see how the file looks like we can open through notepad we can see the content we will get a brief idea once we renamed it once it is renamed or deleted run gp updates as force or software update eval cycle and size cycle through config manager action items it will create a new file and eventually like in the wa handler log we will see a successful entry and this is where i am seeing a lot of scanning get successful so for this i have created automated steps on multiple devices where it creates a new file and the scanning issue get resolved on x number of devices so this is my learning which i am sharing with you guys if you find this particular video interesting and like this video, do like to comment because your comments are helping me to come up with more valuable sessions. Do subscribe this channel so that you get more periodical updates on MECM. With this, this is Yagnesh Malavia signing out until I meet you again in the next video. Thank you very much.